Okay guys, check this out. Today I brought you something very special. Something that's not Sonic the Hedgehog or Pokemon. Now, from Mimosa Studios, these are Melissa H. Francis mascots, foxes! There's two of them! Okay, so these two aren't super special in terms of background information or backstory or anything. They're really just Fox characters meant to act as mascots for artist Melissa H. Francis. She specializes in ultra cutesy, adorable, fluffy woofiness that is really adorable and fluffy. And that fact is reflected perfectly well here. The fabric used in these plush toys is very soft, so of the highest caliber that I've seen on this show. Again, I say it's becoming more and more popular to use, and it's for a darn reason! Because it's so great! Also, they have a healthy amount of stuffing in their bodies, and so they're going to hold their shape very nicely. So, as you saw in the last shot, this little guy went and fell over. Guy, girl, I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, uh, I can explain that a little bit. He's got a little bit of a uh, beanbag butt here going on there. The purpose of this is to uh, keep him body heavy so that he can sit properly. But as you saw, that doesn't always work. As you can plainly see though, it can sit up, it just takes a little bit of fiddling and uh, one is clearly better at it than the other. The detailing on the face is a combination of changed fabric color with stitch detailing. My favorite type of detailing because it's so sturdy, but as you might be able to pick up, this one is a little bit imperfect as you can kind of see the fabric underneath the eye here. Also, the uh, little tufts of hair on top are just little extensions of fabric, no stuffing. And I think it's very effective for what it's trying to do. And also this pose where they're hugging their tails against themselves just screams Snuggles. Snuggles! Also, they come in two different colors! Surprised? So, one thing I want to point out about these two is that no, they are not identical. Look at the placement of the white fabric in relation to the nose. This is the yellow-orange one. This blue one here, however, has a little bit of white above the nose. Also, this one's ears flop a little bit forward, whereas its twins do not. And so, they are not completely identical. There are probably lots of other little subtle differences between them, but I'm not Phalus, so I'm not going to walk you through each and every single one of them. Be thankful! A feature that I don't have very much in my collection, completely removable accessories. This is the yellow one scarf. As you can see, it can come off completely. Also, I have seen variants of this fox character that don't have any scarf at all, and, well, this is what they look like. Huzzah. I don't know why you would want one of those, though. These are freaking cool because they have scarves, and the other ones who don't have scarves are, are, less, are less cool because they don't have scarves. That, that, that's why they're less cool. They both seem to have very shy, unassuming facial expressions, but don't be fooled. These two are planning something. They don't say clever as a fox for nothing. How much more clever can they be when there's two of them? Come play with us, Derpmander, forever and ever and ever. Yeah. Okay. Wait, really? Someone said yes. Okay. okay. Come play with us forever and ever and ever. Act.
Actually, I came here to tell you to stop horning in on my territory. That was the third soul you've devoured today. I called that one. It was mine. Fine, be that way. Whoosh. What's up, guys? Time for another Patreon shot for Steve Sharp, Megan Cloud, and Jordan Mathis. Check out Steve Sharp's music at his YouTube channel, Sharp Rain, because he's freaking awesome! Got something you want to send me in the mail? Here's my P.O. Box. P.O. Box 82, Prospect, Kentucky 40059. Later, guys, and once again, stay awesome.